Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. In the last video I showed the use of this cheap bead roller and also that it's uh, quite terrible in the basic construction as you uh, can buy it, the uh, sideways movement is uh, quite a lot. Um, but also I have some other ideas to improve this one. I won't make it uh, two week projects but uh, I do have some uh, quick um, improvements that I want to do. So um, yeah, that will be this video and uh, let's get to work. The space between these two parts is quite narrow and um, there's some meat on these parts so I will take off a little bit and also you can see the frame itself is narrower than the two shafts so I will also open up the frame a little bit. So you can see now there's a lot more space between here, between these two parts, that's good. Also uh, in the frame. Maybe you know that there are some really nice bead rollers that have a sliding adjustment on one shaft. So you can uh, slide one die above the other one and have some adjustment there. That is actually quite easy to do. Just um, mill or drill a slot in here. This one can stay fixed because the bearing will slide on the shaft. The only thing is the maximum is uh, that the teeth, teeth of these uh, gears are still need to be engaged but um, it has about I will say about 25 millimeters one inch uh, side movement so I think that will be useful. So I will weld this one on the frame, that's uh, strong enough, give enough uh, side support and I also made these um, with the hole and uh, lock and I will use that for a pointer to help me align the bead, uh, you see that used later, but this pointer needs to be nice and uh, strong and only holding it on one hole might not be uh, stiff enough. So one solution is just uh, putting another bracket in here, drill a hole, but uh, in this uh, version you need that to be inside this tube. So I will just put this one in here and I put a center mark on here and a hole in here and then 
two tubes like this and then just align it with the center. Yep, slide it a little bit, you can see it. And then uh, just weld it and then uh, it's strong enough. It doesn't need to hold much force, but uh, it just needs to be fixed in there. I know some of you might comment or uh, wonder uh, oh you don't need to weld this all the way it's a waste of material waste of time get a uh, much more problem with heat input yeah that's all correct um, only thing is uh, this is my personal preference I really hate open frames the, so that's why I closed everything up um, like here and also if you have uh, only partly welded then there will be open spaces inside the frame in here not really open but um, I know eventually in a few years or maybe 10 years maybe 20 years I don't care if there will be rust on the machine it will start on these open spots and I uh, don't like that idea 
So um, yeah, that's why I weld everything up and um, close it. Um, and yeah, maybe also uh, I just like TIG welding too much. So uh, yeah, that's why I uh, welded everything. It's not necessary, but uh, just personal preference. So I made a nice handle, put a spring in the back to pull it upwards and a thicker bracket because the original one was too uh, flimsy. I used M16, it has a 2mm thread so it goes nice and quick but also 2mm is a nice uh, rounded number so I know every half turn is 1mm, every full turn is 2mm. So that's uh, nice to uh, adjust. I put a nice large radius on the end of the bolt and it has a lot less friction and um, less uh, uh, scratching on the surface so that works uh, much nicer. So I made a nice hand wheel and I had it come over a little bit to the left so um, when you're rolling it's just a little bit easier to reach over here than when it's 10 centimeters up here. And there was enough room spinning alright, not perfect but good enough.
So I made two sides of the pointer, shorter one, longer one, so I can use both. And I saw this idea on the YouTube channel from Lasse, Metal Shaping, so that was a great idea, a great YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it helps a little bit with uh, aligning the bead. So uh, normally I find it quite hard to uh, keep uh, the line straight, but this, uh, this can definitely help. So the bead roller is almost finished. The last part that I want to make is a nice working table on here. And I got some nice material for that. Uh, this is a uh, six millimeter aluminium. And I actually find these at the scrapyard. And want to share this story because I think it's funny and sad at the same time. Just imagine uh, Monday morning you come in, your boss say, okay, just uh, drill 360 holes and tap them with M5. You drill them all and then halfway through you break the tap. Uh, it's probably CNC but it doesn't matter, it's still uh... a... <laughs> then you start over again, take a new plate, drill the holes, start tapping, halfway through, break another tap, scrap the part. That wasn't a fun day for this guy, but um, yeah, it was lucky for me because it went to the scrapyard and I used this one on my welding table and um, I got this plate that I can use for the bead roller. I need to cut out this shape to get some clearance for the frame and the dies.
I used these carriage bolts for holding the dice. I uh, took the square off on the lathe and turned down the OD a little bit and then it's a nice fit. Yeah, just a few modifications he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't help myself, I have to do it all the way. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm happy that it's done and uh, works uh, nice. I think uh, it's a lot nicer to use and more solid. Um, I think for uh, modifications this is uh, about the max that you can do next to adding a motor. Um, but um, yeah, the beat roller, it, it, it feels a little bit like buying a cheap car and then modifying it uh, for 30k um, yeah it's a uh, <laughs> it's still ugly but uh, at least it's functional and um, it gave me some restrictions not to go all the way and make it a two months project um, about the motor I think I will add one in the future but for now I want to use the hand wheel only uh, and I heard some uh, like uh, Ray from Pro Shaper. He says he prefers a hand wheel and uh, won't need a motor. So uh, I will first try this and uh, see if it works. And if I need a motor, uh, I think it depends also a little bit about the work that you want to do with it. So um, yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then uh, comment below. Or uh, yeah, if you like the video or if any suggestions how to improve it. Then uh, let me know and uh, if you haven't please subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.